Queens, it's me, the voice of Debbie. Um, today I'm doing something a little bit different. Um, I'm going to talk about some art channels that I personally love and I think they should have more subscribers, honestly. So um, I just, I wanted to share them with you. I think there's just so many hidden gems on YouTube, of, especially in the art community. Um, we all know the really big channels, you know, the Franerd and Lee Ellickson and um, fu Furry Little Peach. I was going to say Fuzzy Little Peach, but Furry Little Peach. Like, we all know them. A lot of us subscribe and love them. Some of us are even supporters on Patreon. But um, there's a lot of channels out there with really talented, skilled, lovely artists that... I have just grown to love so much, like watching their vlogs, watching their art making process, and um, and their art too. Um, and it's some of them. It shocks me that they have such a low subscriber count because it's not for lack of having beautifully shot videos and wonderful content. So, without further ado, um, let's get started. Um, first is the lazy redhead. And I know Ellie a little bit because we've sort of chatted back and forth in her comment section and we've gotten very friendly. We've even talked about doing a collab, but to tell you a little bit about her channel, she's an abstract artist and she's working on making the art making process like her full-time career. So she does work a day job, but she does this she makes art all the time. She's constantly sketching and scribbling, just painting like a mad woman. And if that's not enough, she has the most wonderful, lovely personality, a very sharp sense of humor, and I adore her. She's just, she's a riot and um, a lot of fun. And she's quickly gained, uh, I think she's at like 500 subscribers now, and she's been doing this for about a year. So I wouldn't be surprised if it starts growing a lot more, even quick, even more quickly. So I just think she's a riot. She's a lot of fun. She's very down to earth. And her art is just fun. She's having a good time with it. You can tell. And... I would definitely go subscribe to her. And that's one of the things that I want to say is that I know you may not have time to click on a video right away for all of these artists, but I'm going to link all of their channels in the description box. Just subscribe to them so that you can come back to them later. And also, it helps out someone with a small channel so much when you subscribe um, because it grows their viewership and then more people get to see their content so just just do it just subscribe um, I mean and also if you want to subscribe to my channel I'm I'm really I'm trying to get to 400 subscribers so I'll take it next is Christine Pierce Tang she's a full-time artist that I know um, I met her through Franard um, her discord uh, on patreon she is a full-time caregiver to her father-in-law and she's working as a full-time artist as well and she just uh, documented in three videos a travel vlog through the southwest of america and it is gorgeous she caught some of the most gorgeous footage and if nothing else just to watch those videos alone is a treat um, but she's just very vulnerable and real and talks about, you know, trying new things and, you know, is very honest about, you know, any struggles that she's had, whether it's with her art or her emotions and all kind of stuff, which I really appreciate because to me, life is not a big, perfectly curated Pinterest board. And... I'm not into that. Like, I love seeing beautiful videos of people be with beautiful lives, but I like, I'm honestly more interested in like people doing the real deal. You know what I mean? So uh, definitely subscribe to her channel. Next is Elstration, um, also known as Elena. And I met Elena through Fran's Discord on Patreon as well. And she's 
a creative nomad. So she cur she's currently at the moment that I'm recording this, she's in Japan and staying there for three months. And her travels, although she's traveling the world and interviewing people and documenting her travels and her art making, this is not glamorous traveling, by the way. So um, this isn't like she's just got a million bucks and she's just like traveling the world. She is doing it on a severe budget and she's taking like um, house sitting jobs, pet sitting jobs in different countries and like staying at places right. Uh, her last video that I just watched last night, she was staying in a hostel in Japan, which was extre extremely expensive, but I guess it's all she could get there. And it was not a very nice place. So I was like, oh, I, my heart just really went out to her. Um, but she's, I, I just admire her so much for traveling on her own, which to me would scare the hell out of me. I don't know if I'll ever be able to do that. Um, same with Christine. She went and traveled like in Arizona and stuff on her own. And I'm just like, whoa, I, I'm so anxious about that kind of stuff. So like kudos to you if you travel alone and do that kind of thing. That amazes me. That just blows my mind. Um, but Elena's in, uh, like I said, she's uh, in Japan. She interviews a lot of artists when she goes to these places, but she also has been documenting um, her art making process. And because she uh, left her regular day job and has decided to be that creative nomad, travel, draw, make things, do interviews, and you know, make these like little mini documentaries. So please support her. She does an amazing job and she has like, I think uh, less, she has like less than 500 subscribers. She needs more. It, it's a crime that she doesn't have that many. <laughs> Next is Melissa Martin. And she, I mentioned her uh, the other week in a paint and ponder video about how I began selling my art. And I met her through Sophie McPike's Patreon um, on Discord there because we were, uh, I think we were posting like sketchbook pages and things like that. But she, um, I, when I found out she had a YouTube channel, I checked it out and she hosts a weekly art hang party, which is a live, I don't know how she does it, like technically speaking, like having a camera going and talking and drawing and we do these timed drawing challenges so like she picks a theme for each week so like one week it was mushrooms and one week it was fish and last week it was figure drawing and you have like 30 seconds to draw and two minutes to draw and it's a lot of fun and it's like you don't have time to make things pretty you got to move fast and it's such a great art exercise so if you can ever show up live. I would definitely do it. It's on Thursday nights, um, Eastern Standard Time. But she um, she does do a replay of it, so you can kind of play along on the replay, and I would recommend that as well. Um, it's a lot of fun, and she's a brilliant landscape artist too. Her artwork is gorgeous, and she has beautiful sketchbooks. I've watched a handful of her sketchbook tours and they do not disappoint she does outstanding work um so please support her channel let's see next i've got kilo blimp and he is a self-taught artist and he lives in prague and he first of all the first thing i saw of his was an art studio tour and just the thumbnail alone, I was like, I must see this. It's beautiful, full of natural light. Just a dream. All the light and the beautiful surroundings. Anyway, that's what got me hooked in. But aside from his beautiful art studio, he just has these really thoughtful discussions. And you're watching him paint. It's almost like a paint ponder. And he's talking about, you know, his thoughts on different subject matters, whether it's, um, you know, the idea of he doesn't want his art necessarily just hanging in pristine condition in an art gallery. He's like, I want that art to be experienced and enjoyed. And he's just very humble and very real. 
and I just appreciate his thoughts on so many things because I agree with a lot of what he's talking about. And as far as his art style goes, I, for some reason, and I mean this in the best compliment ever, his art gives me like a 90s nostalgic modern art vibe and is like Pee Wee's Playhouse on acid. It's like wonky perspectives, bright, vibrant colors. It's just everything he makes is so full of life. And he's not classically trained, he's completely self-taught, and he makes such gorgeous art. And, you know, as someone who, myself, I really am not classically trained. Most of my, everything I've done has been me just figuring it out as I go. So I appreciate the fact that it's like, hey, you don't have to have an art degree. You didn't have to go to school. You can just do it. You can just make things and make a mess and make beautiful things, make bad art, make good art, and have fun with it. So uh, I'm going to end it there. I have more. I would love to do a part two of this. So um, if you'd like that, I will. And uh, like I said, please subscribe, and I would really appreciate it. And I will see you on the next one. Take care, guys.